Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 23rd through October 29th. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And I guess I'm done shuffling. I like to get them neat, as you can see. The basis of your reading is the Three of Wands, okay? That is the basis of your week. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe it'll go in just a little bit. All right. So it looks like for many of you, this is a love reading, things might be finally coming in for you. Things might be happening that you've been expecting to happen. Um, but maybe something um, that you've waited for is finally coming to fruition. Um, the moon next to temperance. All right. So there's something mysterious going on here. There's something mysterious going on this week. And, you know, I'm not sure what it is, but it does lead to something good because we have the Wheel of Fortune right next to it. So there's something mysterious, but it leads to good fortune. All right. And it could be exciting, whatever it is. Could be some excitement. Could be a renewal. Could be a rebirth. You know, you could be feeling very creative this week or feeling very um, beautiful. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have a Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have you. And then we have um, Aries and Sagittarius as well. I mean, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, I think we have, what, all the signs? I don't see Libra yet. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I don't see them. I do see... Um, Security and abundance, though. It looks like there's a lot of security and abundance here. A lot of excitement. Something tells me that you need to act on your hunches regarding something. Go for it. Um, and I think you have. I think there's a, some fast-moving energy, and I think things are, are <coughs> probably turning out in your favor this week. Um, I think there is some deceit, though. I'm not sure where this deceit comes from. Some kind of um, sneakiness going on. Uh, maybe you're letting go of something. Maybe you're letting go of something that, or a secret. Maybe there's a secret that comes out, or there's a grudge that you're letting go of. You could be letting go of a grudge. I do see that you're making a lot of progress. Probably could be on a project. Could be in a relationship. I think that you're making progress. Um... It just looks like it's a pretty good week where what you've been working for or what you've been um, expecting is probably happening. Probably it's you're feeling very balanced, okay? Um, strong, okay? I see a lot of inner strength. I see a lot of confidence. Um, wisdom. It looks like I see some wisdom. I think your hard work pays off this week. I think something is coming to fruition that you've been waiting for. Could be in the it could be in regards of to love, okay? Because we do have quite a few partners here, or people, people in the picture, all right? Um, and I, if there's something going on behind behind the scenes, like I said, I was talking about a mystery. There's some kind of mystery with that moon card. Uh, I'm just gonna shuffle while I am talking. Did I tell you we had a Sagittarius? I think I did. Um, it looks like uh, they may, there could be some addictions, Aries, that are affecting you. That could be something you're letting go of, something that you had previously been addicted to because I see that 
you're letting go of something because it was only hurting you, okay? It was only um, bringing you down and hurting you in some way. Um, I think, see that you're taking action and it's just, it's really amplifying your beauty and your creativity, whatever it is. I see that many of you are going through a period of renewal, something like that. Um, and it really, I see that your confidence is, has gone up or is going up. All right. This is the week of the 23rd through the 29th. Some of you could be moving. All right. And I see that many of you are headed in an exciting direction. This week looks like um, there's movement. Okay. Things are, things are progressing. Okay. In the, in the direction that you want to go, things are progressing very nicely because you're not deceiving yourself anymore and you're actually helping the wheel to turn, okay? You're really focusing on spinning the wheel. You're looking for that change, all right? Um, the thing is, that moon, it really, the moon can signify fears. So I think there's some fears. I think, um, that you you really just are fearful of what the future holds and um you don't need to be you don't need to be because i see success here i see security and stability and i see that you're making changes because you're not going to deceive yourself anymore so i think many of you are letting something go that no longer serves you Okay. It is unnecessary insecurity. You do you're you're feeling insecure about a situation that might have to do with money, but there's no reason to because this is unnecessary worry because there is plenty. There really is plenty. You're not going I don't see any struggling with money. There could be some upcoming legal matters or that could be your fear of what will what are the impending uh, legal matters in a situation. I do see there's a huge heaviness that you're carrying around with the justice and the ten of wands right next to each other. They both they both state that you're carrying around something heavy that needs to be let go. So if you have too many responsibilities, this is saying you need to let go of something because it's too heavy to carry. It could be a thought, could be something physical that you're carrying around, you know, or, you know, too many responsibilities or the fact that you want to do something and it's weighing heavily on you because you haven't done it. That's heavy to carry around with you. Okay. I see that you're making progress with letting it go, though. I think that you really have been working on it. You've been working on bringing balance back to your life. You may be overindulging here and there, you know, to get through it. You may be, you know, trying to block some feelings out with um, alcohol or eating or something. There could be some overindulging going on, you know, to mask the feelings. Um, but I do see plenty of financial security in abundance. So please don't worry about that. I see that many of you are worried about it, but you don't need to be because this is unnecessary worry, okay? Because things are progressing very nicely, believe it or not. And here you are, Aries. And here we have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So now we have all the signs. So it could be any sign that you're dealing with this week. But this is the truth, okay? This is Libra as well. And they, they both bring the truth. So it's time to be honest. It is. It's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to be true to yourself. It's time to make a final decision. That's what justice is. Justice is when the final decision has been made. And it's the true. It's regarding the truth. It's when the decision has been made and after the truth comes out. The truth has come out. The, um, what's the word for it? Stories have been heard. And now it's decision time. That's when justice comes out. The Queen of Swords, she helps. She's like, makes the decision all right it's time it's time to make the decision it's time so i think with this week the basis of your reading is the three of wands it's about things are starting to progress as you wanted them to things are really happening this week in regards to 
your dreams, okay, in regards to what you see in your future, okay, and it's because you you are helping the wheel to spin, but you have some insecurity, you have insecurity regarding finances, whereas you don't need to, because I see I see security and stability, okay, so there's, there's nothing to worry about, it's going to work out in your favor, it is, so don't worry about it. This Ten of Cups states that happiness is around, okay? Ten of Cups is a completion of any strife. There's no strife, okay? It's, this could be an end of a relationship, I just have to tell you, because this is the Ten of Cups. It can be the end of a relationship so that something new can begin. It can be a new phase in a relationship as well. So for many of you, you could be getting a new phase in a relationship. could be with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or it could be a new relationship altogether. And it could happen fairly quickly. It could. Um, could be with a Libra, uh, Aquarius, or Gemini. We have them all here, so it really could be with any sign. You have a false sense of insecurity regarding finances. Keep that in your mind. It's a false sense. You're going to be absolutely fine. You have the skills. You're a leader. There's no failure. You're very successful, okay? And you're very wise. You have a lot of wisdom, okay? So do not doubt yourself. Um, I see that you have a lot of strength, courage, and confidence, all right? Um, I think that many of you are contemplating a move, okay, or you're worried about your property, so that may be keeping you stuck in a situation where you live, okay, but I think things are progressing, progressing in your favor, things are starting to happen in your favor this week because you've taken some kind of action, all right. We have some completions here. We do. I, I truly believe that one phase of a relationship is ending. And either you are beginning a new phase with somebody or you are beginning a new relate or you're contemplating beginning a new relationship altogether. Okay. I see we have a fast moving energy here. Things could happen very quickly. All of a sudden, you decide to look at something from a new perspective and you go with it, okay? This kind of like of impulsive energy here. So, you know, you may feel a little impulsive at times this week. Um, just be careful with that because that's just, it might make you feel insecure after the fact. Um, you might have regrets, okay? You might have regrets if you act impulsively. But I do th see that uh, it's time to do the right thing for you, okay, with that justice card. It's absolutely time to do the right thing for you, to be honest with yourself. It's about doing the right thing, integrity, all right? So I think this week is be having integrity, you know, with yourself, for yourself, okay? It's time to release a weight or a heaviness that is really weighing you down regarding a choice, okay? I think you guys have been wanting to make a choice on, on what to do, and you have this false sense of insecurity, and I think that has to do with money. I don't think it's like insecurity about your self-worth or your self-confidence. I think you have plenty of that. I think it's regarding money, and I think that could be holding you back from, from um, moving faster along with your plan, <coughs> all right? I'm going to get you one of these other cards. But I do see this is a week of, of progress, okay? I think you guys have made a plan and things are working out in your favor. And um, now it's about time to make a choice. It's time to make a choice. When are you going to make the choice? I think the only thing holding you back from whatever this choice is, is financial insecurity. Okay? But I see that you're close. You're really close to being, telling the truth about something. Okay? That's what it is. And it has to do with a relationship. This one came out. Opportunity to forgive. 
This is for Aries for the week. Now, it may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. It will resonate with some and it won't with others. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Hmm. Opportunity to forgive. I think it's an opportunity to forgive yourself. I do. For doing the right thing for you, I think that's a big deal. Many of you are feeling like you can't make a move because you won't be able to forgive yourself if you do it. But you matter. It's time to be true to yourself. That's what this card says. Be true to you. Because if you don't, nobody else is going to. You're only deceiving yourself by not doing it. This this feeling of feeling financially insecure is that's just a that's false. It's not true. You don't really need to forgive yourself for doing the right thing for you. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do the right thing for you. But I think you're trying to keep the structure. You're trying to keep the structure and the organization within your life. And so, you know, that's that's holding you back. You know, you just don't want any chaos. But unfortunately, you know, to, to for this to be bigger than a three, when you get a three in the center of your reading, you're still you have a long ways to go. Alright, because it goes to nine. Ace, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, you finally get there. When you get to the three, when it's a three, you still have a long ways to go on the journey. Yes, you're making progress, but you would love to have things move quicker, but I think a part of it starts with forgiving yourself. Seriously. You really shouldn't have to forgive yourself to do the right thing for you. Because with the temperance card as well. That means everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose for everything. Remember that. There's a purpose for everything. It's time to do the right thing for you. That's what I see. To honor your truth. Talk to you later, Aries.